Could a black hole devour us all one day? It's not as far-fetched as it sounds. There are millions of them lurking out there, just waiting in the dark. And if we ever manage to create one by accident, well, you better fasten your seatbelts, because things are going to suck. Literally. What are black holes? Black holes are the ultimate cosmic predators. Just 3,000 light years away from Earth, there's a black hole so bright you can spot it with the naked eye. Fortunately, we are at a safe distance from this stellar black hole and the countless others scattered across the galaxy. There are an estimated 100 million black holes in our galaxy alone, formed from the violent deaths of stars 10 to 20 times larger than our sun. Stellar black holes, while common, are still fearsome, with diameters of around 16 kilometers, 10 miles. But looming in the galactic shadows are supermassive black holes, so colossal they dwarf our entire solar system. These monsters have masses millions of times that of the sun. The most famous of them, Sagittarius A asterisk, lies at the heart of the Milky Way, a sleeping giant capable of devouring stars whole. How close would a black hole need to be? Now, how close would a black hole need to be to swallow us? Surprisingly, a black hole as small as a 1 mm, 1 25th inch, pin could spell doom if it drifted too close to Earth. Its immense gravitational force would begin tearing our planet apart, atom by atom. Our survival hinges on one critical point, whether or not we've crossed the event horizon. This is the black hole's point of no return, beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. As you might guess, that's not a place we want to be. If Earth ever ventured too near, the side closest to the black hole would start stretching toward it. Imagine our atmosphere being vacuumed away, followed by gigantic chunks of Earth itself. We would be helpless as our world was shredded into cosmic confetti. If Earth somehow settled into orbit around the black hole, things wouldn't get any better. Tidal heating, caused by the intense gravitational forces, would twist and deform our planet, creating unbearable heat. Earthquakes would rock the surface, volcanoes would erupt in fury, and towering tsunamis would obliterate coastlines. In short, the planet would be torn apart by forces beyond our comprehension. Spaghettification the most bizarre, and terrifying, process associated with black holes is something scientists call spaghettification. As Earth spiraled closer, we would begin to stretch and contort, much like a piece of pasta being pulled apart. And if you were brave, or foolish, enough to plunge headfirst into a black hole, the stretching would become agonizingly personal. Your body would be pulled and elongated, with your arms drawn toward the black hole faster than your feet, transforming you into a grotesque, noodle-like figure. For a stellar black hole, this could happen hundreds of kilometers from the event horizon. But in the case of a supermassive black hole, spaghettification may occur only after you've crossed that invisible boundary. Either way, once inside, everything that enters is stretched into a thin stream of atoms, whether it's a person, a planet, or a star. The ultimate fate of our solar system even more catastrophic is what would happen to the entire solar system. As the sun's gravity is disrupted, the planets could spiral out of control, smashing into each other like billiard balls on a cosmic table. Meanwhile, our asteroid belt would be sucked toward us, adding another layer of destruction. The thought of one of those massive space rocks, some over 100 kilometers 62 miles wide, crashing into us is grim. We might not even live long enough to turn into spaghetti. But that's not the end of the horror. Every bit of matter in our solar system would join the black hole's accretion disk, a swirling vortex of destruction. 
As material spirals in, it accelerates and heats up, emitting deadly radiation. So even if we miraculously survived the asteroids and planetary collisions, we'd be cooked by intense radiation before long. Black holes with a dark twist Black holes also come with a few shocking twists. Some black holes move. Yes, they drift through space, hunting for their next meal like cosmic nomads. Astronomers have discovered that certain rogue black holes travel through the universe at incredible speeds, dragging entire stars and planets in their wake. If one of these wandering beasts crossed paths with our solar system, the consequences would be unthinkable. It's not a matter of if but when a rogue black hole might come knocking. Even stranger are the rare planets that orbit not one, but two black holes. Known as circumbinary planets, these distant worlds are caught in a deadly balancing act between two massive forces. Imagine living on a planet where, instead of sunsets, you watch two black holes pulling your world in different directions. Though this might sound like science fiction, astronomers believe it could be possible. And if it is, such a planet would be a nightmarish place to live, with tidal forces distorting the surface and the constant threat of being sucked into one of the black holes. What if we survive? Could we find a way to navigate a black hole? If we somehow managed to cross the event horizon without being torn apart, we might enter a realm where the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. Gravity, the speed of light, and even the fundamental forces that bind atoms together could be completely different. We might be pulled into another dimension, perhaps even a parallel universe, where everything we understand is flipped on its head. The reality is, we simply don't know. Black holes are the ultimate enigma. They swallow all information and refuse to give anything back. Who knows? Maybe we're already inside a black hole right now, and everything we experience is just a distorted reflection of a universe long lost through its pull.